Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate you joining the Triumphant Magazine show. I am Teresa Jordan. I am the director, I'm the founder, and also the distributor of Triumphant Magazine. So this month, which is coming up November 2021, we are in for such a magnificent treat. We're going to have the Reverend Dr. Barbara Thomas Reddick. She's going to be featured in our November 2020 issue of Triumph Magazine. She is a pastor. She is a woman of God. She is a wife. She's a mother. She's a serial multi-entrepreneur. She is an author. She is an artist of so many amazing songs. So at this time, we're going to have Dr. Reverend Dr. Barbara Reddick tell us about herself. She's going to take the time to introduce herself to everyone. Amen. Hello, hello, everyone. I am so excited to be included today. Thank you, my sister Teresa Jordan. Thank I you. thank you so much for inviting me. Um, you know, I'm the Reverend Dr. Barbara Thomas Reddick. A lot of yes. people around the world, they know me as if God don't do it, lady, you know, because right, they yeah. say, I don't do it. It just won't get it done. Won't get like, done. It won't so, get done. So, so, <laughs> Uh, yes, of course, I'm a mom, I'm a daughter, a mother, grandmother, yes. a wife, um, yes. all of the things that you've mentioned, and I enjoy um, outreach ministry, I love yes. our beloved community, I enjoy reaching out and, and you know, never looking down on anyone unless we're reaching down to pick them up. All right. And so, I love that piece. I love it. You said only time to look down on people is when we're trying to, when we, when we're picking them up. I love that. Yeah. I love that philosophy. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So at this time, I want you to tell us, cause like you just mentioned, you said um, you had the viral song that went out. If God don't do it, it won't get done. So tell us how did that start? Because I believe it all, you start, you had it come out last year, 2020. So if you could tell us about it, please. Yes, actually, to 2019, it, been, okay. it came. Um, um, but, you know, prior to that, I was going through, through um, a tremendous amount of issues. Yeah. Um, you know, I think you're making two steps forward, and then mm -hmm. it, it looks like you're taking steps back, backwards. Yeah. And so with me, you know, um, there was, uh, I was, I felt like I was in a dark place. Wow. I felt the challenges was where they were coming back, you know, and it was just hitting me from the left, the right, up, down, oh, side. Hmm. But, you know, I knew that, you know, I, I was standing on the world. He said, when you've done all you can do, hmm. stand, stand Damn. on what? the word of God. Yeah. And so you know, there was a situation that came up, you know, my daughter ended up getting in some um, trouble. You know, sometimes our children, regardless of what we tell them, sometimes they can get with the wrong, uh, some some set of people that yeah. may be really doing some things. You know, you could be blindsided to some things. And so I don't have ever been in trouble with the law. And yeah. so, you know, once she had the transportation, she was riding and they were going, um, something that they were going to get in. Uh, just turned to a bit another 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 dementia. So yeah. anyway, my daughter ended up getting in trouble, yeah. and I I had to really really miss God because mm -hmm. uh, they threw some hard charges on her. Okay. And so mm -hmm. he said, "If I don't do it, mm -hmm. it won't get done." Mm -hmm. he, this this a miracle, and only and I'm the only one can perform a miracle. My Lord, and so. So when he told me that, it it, it gave me hope because yes. I knew that I had to look to the hills from which mm. coming yes. my help, because yes. all of it kept coming from the Lord. And so it. he said, he said, but I I'm gonna do it for you. I'm gonna show you that that mm. that, 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 that I have all power. Yeah. In my so when when he spoke that in my spirit, you know, you, God knows that we have to have something to to hold us together because when he speaks. It gives us strength. Yes, yes. And so that was my hope. I held on to it. And so I just went to humming that. If God don't do it, it won't get done. You know how you just keep wow. missing. That's and I'm it. a pianist. You know, I played the piano. Yes. So, of course, I played different chords. And, and so from there, the melody came about. And so we came oh, up with yeah. this one um, that went viral. 
If God don't do it, it won't get done. And it touched so many people yeah. because they knew a lot of people going through mm. right now, you know. Yeah. They were going through then and they're going through things now. Yeah. And the sun is still relevant because people know that they can't do it. Mm -hmm. They know mama can't do it. They know daddy can't do it. They yeah. can't sister, brother. None of these people can do it. Nobody. Pass God got to do it. That's it. I love it. And I thank you for being transparent with us because I'm telling you that song last year, um, my niece, um, Afrida, actually introduced me to it. And with us dealing with that pandemic last year, I mean, that brought us through a lot. That song is going to resonate for years and years and years to come. So I thank you for your obedience and allowing God to use you in that significant way and even more significant ways to come. So I just yeah. want to play a little piece of that. A little piece okay. Of that. Okay, so give me one second. God is good, I'm telling you. Yes, he is. He is so good. He is awesome in all his ways. Mm -hmm. And then actually before I play it, because you also did it with the Braxton um, sisters. So tell us a little bit about that experience as well before we play it. Okay, you know, we uh, my coordinator is um, out of um, Atlanta. His name is um, Mr. Fredio. If he's, yes. he's a good friend of mine and he's been working with me closely. And so he kind of that connection together. Uh, we we worked along with Authentic Empire um, Music um, Department, and so Freddie um, reached out to the Braxton sisters, and immediately they had already been on board because Trina and um, Tawanda had already uh, responded to the song prior to us reaching out to them, mm -hmm. and so they they already had some investment as well. Yeah, because it had resonated with them wow. and so, so they just immediately um answered yes wow. uh, we went out to them i thought that was a very humbling piece for them as well absolutely and i'm so they were very easy to work with they were down the earth they were um reachable and yes. loving people just love and we enjoyed the the um the journey enjoyed the journey yes and then I'm going to play a little bit of the song. And then I want you to come back and tell us about your 30 day challenge that you put out to everyone. So I'm going to play a little bit of the song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you? Absolutely. Every day. Every day. Yeah, every day. So I think it's time for us to get the world know something. That if God don't do it, it won't. Because it's going to take a miracle. Yes. I'm <laughs> One thing I have realized, that if God don't do it, it just won't get done. It's going to take a miracle from God. If God don't do it, it won't get done. If God don't do it, it won't get done. to stop this here because we want you to go on the streaming platforms and get it for yourself <laughs> so we gave you a little snippet of what you could look forward to <laughs> which is truly yeah. a blessing <laughs> so at this time i want to see if you can elaborate on the challenge that you put out there for us yes we have a challenge that we put out for um everyone in um uh, that are following us and everyone that yes. participate and that they 
they were challenged to um to in their own special creative way yes. and use the if God don't do it some and however God wanted to use them, they create their own journey, their own moment and yeah. how that what it meant to them. And so with that, we were able to open it up to the world and let the people yeah. vote and choose who they felt uh, had the best creative um, piece of work. Yeah. And so we give out a monetary gift. I think one person received $100, wow. another $50, yes. and the third person received a gift. Yeah. And so all of them received a, um, we're still sending out some of the t-shirts to some of the people wow. because we pay some of the um, addresses, but we are sending t-shirts to everyone, yeah. um, some type of um, product with, if God don't do it, you know. Yeah. On. Yes. And they can actually order those, um, your shirts and also phone cases. What is the website they can go on to actually order it? www.ifgoddontdoit.com. And so we have t-shirt mugs, um, tote bags, phone cases, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so they're, they're always changing it out, but they're always nice products that they're putting out there for our audience. Absolutely, which is awesome. And then the next question, because I know you are an artist, what are some other things that our audience may not know that um, you do? You know, um, recently the Lord allowed to um, help a couple of other artists um, produce yes. their, their products. And so Absolutely. I have a that is out there, um, Praise Your Way. Um, he put out the song, He'll Do It. Yes. And so produce it and manage that that single and um is doing well he's out of south carolina yeah. and um my son just released his um single wow. the rapper so i'm diverse i'm diverse i love That's music it. and so he just put his piece out um and the title of his work is constant he's talking about um his own life experiences and you know, he's doing a wonderful job with his new singer that just was released. So I help produce others and help them manage theirs what as well. What a blessing. And then you also, um, so anybody looking for someone to help with producing your song, you have a song out there, please definitely get in touch with Doc, Reverend Dr. Barbara yeah. Thomas Reddick. She is your woman. She can get the job done for you. So definitely mm -hmm. reach out to her. And how, how can they reach out to you if they're interested in having someone help with producing mm -hmm. We have an office here in the Leon County area, 850-201-7107. If you want to call into our office, which is Reddit's production. Yes. And so also, if you want to reach us out by email, you can. You can go to, um, dub, um, let me see, what is it? Um, Reddit's uh, production yes. at gmail.com. I think that's what it is. Okay, awesome. And they can find you also on Facebook, Instagram, Facebook. TikTok. <laughs> Uh, YouTube. Uh, we're on all of the social medias. Yes. What a blessing. What a blessing. And tell us, because I know your, your heart is also dealing with um, people that might have dealt with alcoholism. You also deal with women with domestic violence, and you also work heavily with our children. So can you tell us the different programs you have out there and the resources that are available to our audience and beyond? Absolutely. I'm very passionate about um, the population that we serve. Um, when I attended Johns Hopkins in Baltimore, Maryland, I was finishing up my residency. And in my residency, I um, there to complete a chaplaincy program with this clinical pastoral education. Mm -hmm. And so in that residency, I did a crossover training with substance abuse outpatient and inpatient treatment. Okay. So when I got back, you know, from my own personal experience, experience with uh, experiences with my family members that um, have struggled yes. with the of alcohol and drugs. You know, I, I realized that, you know, you, we were getting mad with the individual. Yes. You, you're upset with the person. But, you know, um, I, I knew that that was not, it was like I was beating my head up against the wall. But once I became educated about uh, what's really going on with, 
with, with this population, it's not the individual, it's the disease. It is. And so I, I took a different approach. And so with that, I started what we call the holistic plan of care. Yeah. And the mind, the body, and soul. Mm. And so these are people that are suffering with alcohol, mm. drugs, um, anger issues. The children may have been taken away, so we can help with parenting classes. Yeah. We help with education, those that are needed uh, to want to obtain their high school diploma. And so wow. we are just, I'm passionate about this program. Yeah. Um, I, I enjoy learning with them. Um, there is a, um, it's a, it's a piece that people come in and they're tore from the floor for a lot of times. Yeah. They yeah. feel mm -hmm. that they feel, yeah. but you know, I believe when they go through the holistic plan of care door, um, I feel that they feel that there's hope because we try to create a safe place for them so they can vent, they can share, they can open up and understand that um, there's hope. As long as there's breath in your body, That's there's it. hope. There's plenty of hope. And I'm, I'm grateful that you have that platform out there. And they mm -hmm. um, know how, to, how would they get in touch with you if they have family members or friends that may mm -hmm. be encountering this? Yes, um, contact us. Um, we have a, 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 an office here. Um, the number is 850-201-7105. And we have intake specialists. We have a, um, a substance abuse counselor. Um, myself, I'm certified. To, uh, to provide the services. I'm certified through the Florida Certification Board. We are licensed the Department of Children and Family, and we are accredited off international. And so with that, we um, they can contact as us through our email address, holisticplanofcare at gmail.com. Okay. And what if um, somebody say they want to actually open up their own center or be able to do the same thing that you're doing? Do you offer services? Um, teacher well what, what we do is that um in order to run this type of program yes what i was at it, uh, a holistic care academy okay. and so person and becoming certified we have an academy that we have provided with the florida certification board mm -hmm. and we have that we help them to um prepare them to become eligible for testing okay. and so that have to show their credentials, their degrees, and we would make that, we, I would do an audit to okay. see where they are. And from there, we could see if they qualify. And so we present all the to the Florida Certification Board. They make the final determination if they're eligible for testing. Mm -hmm. If they become eligible for testing, then what we can do, then they can back to us at the academy, and then we can prepare them Wow, that's pretty good. That's really awesome. Really, really mm -hmm. awesome. And I know yeah. you have some upcoming projects that you're working on. So can you tell us about some of the upcoming projects? Absolutely. Um, uh, one of the projects we just um, returned right from we're in Florida now, but we were in Atlanta, Georgia for a few days. Yes. We did, um, a video, we did a couple of videos. Um, and so we are hoping that we get a drafted piece of the video next week is a Christmas video and it's a song that I wrote um, a few years back and the title of the song is You Never Know. Mm. You Never Know. No. Um, the Last Goodbye. Yeah. And so um, we talk about Christmas is a time that that just come together. Christmas is a time that we walk hand in hand. Christmas is a time that we give love to one another yeah. but we never know when it's the last goodbye. Mm -hmm. And so that video when I rap with that's powerful. I mean, I even, I mean, just, I, I see that song even like going beyond Christmas. Um, just okay. for the fact of what we went through last year in 2020, nobody could have prepared us or told yes. us what was going to take place with all the lives that we lost. And even to the extension of this year, which is 2021, almost looking at next year being two years that we've been in yeah. since. Yeah. So what words of encouragement would you give to someone that lost their loved one, might have lost a friend or someone significant in their lives? 
Yes. Um, you know, um, I, I've lost quite a few loved ones myself. Yeah. And so, so already told us that when um when when we're coming into the world, he wants us to really cry. Yeah. But when they're when they're leaving the world, we should be rejoicing. And so we kind of got it backwards. We do. And so but I do know I get it. I get it. I know that our loved ones, you know, we love them. Yeah. And but you know, God is God is letting us know, you know, we need to get our word to know that 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 this day will come. That you know, I lost uh, two nephews and two terrific, um, um, chaotic pieces. You know, one was in a, a, a high speed chase. You know, oh, wow. and, uh, it was uh, one of my nephews. One was um, shot um, in oh. a pocket. You know, they found him dead. You know, and then oh, I lost my grandmother. I lost uh, um, two sisters. I lost a cousin. I lost a. Uh, my uncle, I lost, you know, and, and the list goes on. Yeah. Lost a, a niece, a niece died in my home, had medical oh, wow. issues, found her dead, you know. So what I can say is that, you know, because I'm a chaplain yeah. and I understand grief and loss, I understand death and dying, I understand all of that bedside manners, I understand that. But one thing I can say is that um, we have to look to the hills mm. from which thy help because all of our help coming from the Lord and mm-hmm. and God is too wise to make a mistake on anything That's whatever true. he allows to start yeah. he knows how to pause it end it uh, delete it or uh, whatever he chooses to do with it but yeah. whatever he chooses to do yeah. in, with our family members we, I'm learning to accept and one song that sticks with me is, I am learning how to lean mm-hmm. and depend on God. Yes, because when I depend on him, he has all the answers. Yeah, he, he does. He, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above mm-hmm. him, there no is no other. No other. Jesus mm-hmm. is the way. That's it. That's it. That You said, whew, you said a lot and it is true. <laughs> so true. So true. And I know you also have another um, song that you're working on. Lord, I want to thank you. So if you can tell us about the song, that upcoming song as well. And it kind of back on just what I just said, because in that, we must thank him. Yes. Good, whether we see it good, whether we see it bad. Yes. Say, he said, all things give thanks. Mm. But it is the will of God concerning us. Give Thanks to him, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether we're feeling down, whether we're feeling up, whether we're rich or whether we're poor, mm. whatever, whatever state we're in, we just need to give thanks to him. So I'm saying, Lord, I thank you. Yeah. Lord, I thank you. Whatever it is. I lost yeah. my niece. Lord, I thank you. That's it. Uh, my niece don't feel the best all the time. But Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. you my trick don't always do what I ask them to do, but Lord, yeah, thank I thank you. Mm. You know, Lord, I don't think I want in my bank account, but I thank you for the few dollars that's in yes. there. So, uh, yes. And so, you know, I believe that, you mm. know, when we, that song is coming out, uh, out um, after the New Year's. Okay. And, so, and, it's, and the title is, Lord, I want to thank you. And that's what I want to do. I want to thank him. Yeah. Regardless of in my life I'm, I'm saying thank you lord because i know that all things are working together for my good yeah and, and god knows how to turn the bad into the mm, i'll tell you i'll tell you you um kind of remind me so much like you know how when we used to have good meals and those meals that stick to you <laughs> And um, you're like that missing component that the world needs. Like we have so many gospel songs, but it's nothing like that meat sticking to you when you need it mm-hmm. most. So like prime example, I was in the living room listening to some of your songs and when your feet can shout to it and your spirit can jump to it, you know you in the right place. So I, I just, thank I, I you thank you so much for, like I said earlier, being a willing vessel and pumping out all those songs. Like I told you earlier, um, there's a, 
passage in the Bible where it talks about the talents, where the master gave one talent, then he gave five talents, and then he gave 10 talents. And I can honestly say that you are doubling it, tripling it, quadrupling it. And I'm just, we're just so grateful, grateful. And then that goes to the, to the next thing that I want to know. And I'm going to play a little bit of that song, Lord, I want to thank you. But even before I go to that, um, well, I'll play a little bit of it first, and then I'm going to go to the next question that I have for you. Okay, so okay. You give me one second. I'm going to play a little bit of it. I tell you, God is so good. Oh, it is. Tell you, he is so good. And I'm just so grateful for you doing the magnificent things you're doing out there. stop it right there because like we said okay. earlier we want you to go out and get it on all the streaming <laughs> platforms that are out there lord i want to thank you i thank you lord for the small things i thank you lord for the big things i thank you for the things to come so we thank you reverend thank you. Um, dr barbara thomas reddick for bringing that powerful song songs to us you not just one song song after song after song <laughs> after song i just can't wait to see even the greater songs that are going to come forth out of you Praise so Lord. at this time i want to um see is uh, whether there's um anything else that we didn't mention that we also need to mention also at this time you know i think we need to mention that there we have a couple of books out there that i have yes, written yes author and so um, yes. um the, the first book that called the presence of a chaplain yes. and um it talks about um how chaplaincy um will be a great entity um in the school setting um you know we have chaplains in the hospitals we have chaplains um in the military wow. we have chaplains different institutions yes. but when it comes public schools um we do not have a chaplain wow. and so i did a study with i showed how um in different scenarios we had one class that with a chaplain journeying over a course of a period of time and then we had the the the, the classroom setting without the chaplain okay and that we were able to do a comparison contrast mm -hmm. and to show the difference of the behavior of the students with the chaplain inside the classroom setting wow. and how the um, acted when there was not a chaplain available. Well, the kids that had access to the chaplain when they acted, when they wanted to be in, when they uh, did something that was not pleasing with the, uh, the guidelines of the school, Yes the chaplain was able to be called in and the chaplain responded by thought within five minutes and responded within 15 minutes wow. to be available. Wow. So the, the child was able to go into a one setting mm. with the chaplain, talk about it, express. Yes. Let, and once the child was able to uh, talk about it, the chapel was able to get to the root cause of what was really going on. And in that, 
it kept the children in a place of saying, someone loves me, That's someone cares. Yes. And so they returned back to the school and in, in the classroom setting with suspended, without being um, uh, put in time out yeah. and all um, little um, entities that may come with that. Uh, and so they didn't even get they didn't even get written up because wow. the chapel was able to what diffuse the situation Absolutely. and the child had access to want to someone to listen. A lot of times children want to just have someone to listen to them and Absolutely. to someone care. And so this book has some case studies in it. Wow. It talks about life, it talks about my family. Oh. It talks about love. It talks about um, different entities of how chaplain makes a difference in that city. And so with that, um, that's what that is, the presence of a chaplain. I love it. And have it, a, um, a uh, student handbook. Okay. And it's called the, um, My Personal Tapestry of Life and a Self-Awareness Model. And it helps the person that reads the book come back and do a self-awareness of the of himself, wow. himself and then it brings out components of mm, well that's why I did that uh, and then it asks tough questions in the student handbook. Wow that's pretty good because like you said um, a lot of times at schools the teachers don't have time to be one-on-one -on -one with a person and it's wonderful that that's, that's a crucial component, like how you said, that's missing within our schools. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. So I, I love the fact that um, you you're, have the books out there, like you said, in, in all kinds of different capacities. And yes. then the next question that I have for you is, um, you also help, start, help people start businesses. So can you mm -hmm. tell us um, what you do when it comes to starting businesses? Um, a lot of times people, um, they're wanting start a business and they ideas and they're um, kind of lost, stuck uh, of, with what to do. And so I'm that um, go-to person and help them and guide that piece. And, and I will also, um, they can come into the office and we can set it up through, um, in Florida, it's Sunbiz. And oh, so yeah. we go to Sunbiz and we we'll set up um, all the components, whether they want to be a sole proprietor, a um, incorporation, a partnership, or a um, LLC, and we'll we'll help them um, determine um, if they want a fictitious name or they want whatever name they want to have for their business to make sure that they're legit. Yeah. We we'll get FEIN number. We do the the whole works for them to make sure that they have everything legitimate so that they can operate the business that they're wanting. We'll get the purpose, the vision, what yeah. it is. That wanted to do, we'll make sense of that for them wow. so that they go out and get their cars, their flyers and help them um, refer them out to someone that was to do a website. So that's we'll help them. Stop this. That's a blessing. And that's a blessing. It's, and it's a need for it too. Yes. It's a need mm -hmm. for it. And then anything yeah. else you can think of just to make sure we're um, covering everything? Well, you know, I think the only thing is that I'm a pastor with, yeah. um, with the African Methodist Episcopal, uh, we, <laughs> bishop, we have a new bishop, um, uh, Bishop Reed and his lovely wife, um, yeah. Marlo. I hope I'm not saying it wrong. I just read her name. But I tell you, they're, they're wonderful. Our bishop and our um, um, supervisor for uh, for the uh, Tallahassee District, yeah. we are, I'm pastoring. I'm in two locations, um, Brim Fountain in me, and Spring Hill, okay. Fall Church, and I and, and I'm enjoying pastoring because you know I feel you know he say um feed feed you know and so I I just want to feed the sheep and and I, I I get it I I love the beloved community I love outreach and so um, where I I believe I'm where I need to be. wow well I have two more questions for you the um first question is. Well, um, did you envision yourself doing this before 2019? Did you have a dream about it? Did anybody speak it over your life? How did you know that this was God's purpose and his plan for your life? 
That's what I want to know. I believe that, um, you know, uh, that, you know, as a little child, I always was into something, <laughs> yes. you know, if I wasn't cheering, I was playing basketball, if I wasn't playing basketball, I was going to try, if I wasn't going to try, I was playing volleyball, I was going to play volleyball, I was always in something, <laughs> I was always just doing, I always knew there was something different, yeah. I always knew about me, even when um, well, like when evangelists would come in town, I would always sit at their feet. I was just always absorbing the word, wanting to learn, and so you know, I was always around evan- evangelism, and yes. so that was a very exciting people. I always knew um, that there was something different about ministry because I would have the little children. Uh, after we finish the revivals, I would be, I get them in the backyard and I line them up and I say, in the name of Jesus. And I lay my hands, I say, we felt that? You feel it? And they didn't want to and say, yeah, we felt it. I said, well, you supposed to fall out. It's- <laughs> That's precious. <laughs> next person would come up and I let, in the name of Jesus. And I, I lay hands on them. Wow. And did you? I didn't feel you. Why you didn't feel it? it came with you. Now, I was a child doing this stuff. You was so walking in it I, already. <laughs> wow. So, and, and then what happened? You could continue telling us. Wow, that's powerful. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you were doing it. You was already walking in that that pastorship even before you. I was, I was playing. No, but I was I, I was playing, but listen, I really liked the way the evangelists would come in town and I would see you know, you know, you, you I felt something. I really did. Yeah. I really they would lay hands on wow. and so I trying to see could I make other children feel that way too. <laughs> wow, I love it. You, what your story reminds me of uh Pastor um Shirley Caesar. When um, her sister and brothers were saying she was playing, and then the mom came out and said, "No, nah, she ain't playing this time." <laughs> so in your life right now, it's like you doing it. We ain't playing this time. This is the real, yeah, the real McCoy. Yeah, for real, yeah. That's it. It's for real, for real. I tell mm-hmm. you what a blessing. And then I, I think about um the other question that I have for you is, what makes you so humble and so grounded? What mm-hmm. What are the things that that keep you that way? You know, one thing I believe that, you know, I've been through some um, tough times myself. Yes. And so um, um, I was homeless at one time, you know, yes. I been twice. Um, my first marriage didn't come out the way that I, that, that I wanted it to. And that's um, <laughs> it. Yeah, so, but um, it didn't stop me from, um, God showed me something even in that. Wow. And so it, uh, on my first marriage, how... There's no no one person wrong. Right. Um, you have to, you know, everybody has a part in it. Absolutely. And so I myself, like Michael Jackson said, you have to look at the man in the mirror. That's I it. had to look at the woman <laughs> and That's say, you know, hey, there was a piece that I played well. Absolutely. So, you know, um, so I'm not married again. You know, I don't want to make the same mistakes I made before. Absolutely. So um, I think those are the people that keeps me well grounded. And I tell you, I believe in the golden rule. I believe in the golden rule is to, to do unto others that you will have others do unto you. I really, I live, I try to live by that. Yeah. Um, so those humbling pieces, my mother is a very strong entity in my life. She's 90 years old. Oh, wow. And 90. Is young. Wow, that's <laughs> um, a blessing. What does I do? Um, but you know, my mother, um, she doesn't mind letting me know if she see I'm going very, like they said, to the left, to the left. You know, she tried to pull me back in on the narrow That's road. You know, um, so I, I think I'm, this, the humbling piece is that um, none of us, none of us have arrived. That's it. We have, none of us made it yet, you know. No. And so I, that as long as none of us has made it, I think we all keep trying to reach back and see who we can help bring forward with us yeah. and so um, um i think that my own my own hurt my own pain that mm-hmm. i've suffered with and my ups my down my my struggles and yes. all of that to stay kind of like in a 
and a balanced peace and Absolutely. helps me stay grounded, stay yeah. grounded. Absolutely. I love it. And you, you manage your own uh, platforms. What I mean by that is your Instagram, your Facebook, your YouTube, you do all that yourself, right? Um, I do have help now. I have someone okay. that, Anna, um, Saya is helping me. Thank you, Saya. If you watch, if you get a chance to watch, um, you know, um, I thank God for a small team that God, um, has given me, um, so my kids, they help and so, um, you know, even I want to give a shout out. And I know they're not talking about this, but I don't want to leave anyone out. No, we want to shout out. out. We want to shout out uh, everybody. Uh, want to shout out. I'm going to give a shout out to um, um, Phoebe. Phoebe. Phoebe is in the background with um, the Lord. I want to thank you. She's doing that backup. I thank you, Phoebe. She's like a daughter to Miss Bill. And so, you know, um, you know, it's just it's just a wonderful place to be. And yes, I do have help now. People that are Bless that are, they receive stipends. I can't afford to pay everybody. Yes, but I <laughs> think that I give out and let them know that I appreciate them. So yes, um, and you know, matter of fact, Saya um, sent my email this morning and um, was asking me, you know, how I want to move forward with the day to day piece. And so yes, we're always collaborating of what we want on social media and how we want that to unfold. What a blessing. That, that's truly a blessing. That is so mm -hmm. great. And like we said, we, we could find you on Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok. And can you tell the tell us like what the actual email or the way they can find you? I know they can find um, Dr. Um, Barbara. Dr. Ready. Um, I think all of those are kind of like consistent. Absolutely. So yeah, it's consistent with all of the um the platform. Yeah. We um and we we're on A B, we're on Spotify, we're on you know, all of that um that they can find me. And I'm easy to be found because I keep the same name. I don't try to uh, change up. So just Dr. Barbara Thomas ready. Yes. Okay, awesome. And then um the other question, I had one other I had another question for you. Oh, for booking. Tell us about the booking. For booking, we're we're a little bit with that because you know, when, once um the um pandemic hit yes we do a ministry and so we kind of like had it in place and then the pandemic hit so we had to come back uh revise it and and restructure it so but um, the booking pieces we we run it all reddish production which okay. is a company llc production started and so that number is 850-201-07 for production okay awesome and then speaking of the pandemic how did everything um because it hit us real hard last year how did it affect you <laughs> With, well yes um i will say you know um there was some um Good pieces that came out of the pandemic. You know, um, of course, of course, you know, I'm out of wearing the mask, <laughs> but you know, um, we know that um, um, that it's it's, it's keeping us it's keeping us in, in a good place. Yeah. Um, but I would say the one piece that that was a, a awakening, a, a sense of urgency for me was that um, we were not able to attend church. Okay. Uh, like um, on a regular basis, you yeah. know, first third Sundays I was at one church, second and fourth I was at another church, yeah. and so that whole year in about five months we were um well, we were we were kind of disconnected as far as, but I stayed in contact with them by phone teleconferences, yeah. and so we would operate from that standpoint. But one thing I can say it taught me how to appreciate. Mm, yeah. how to take the little things mm -hmm. because you know, sometimes we can take advantage of the little things and say you know and, and not be aware that we're looking over that That's and true. so just to be able to have freedom to to step speak with people not at social distancing you know now you got to be a certain distance away with that, that, that kind of like oh man you know Scared to give somebody a hug, you know. And you know, he said, I'm not giving you the spirit of fear, but of uh, love, power, and a sound mind. That's you know, nice. I love hugs, you know. Yes. 
it makes you think now. It makes you think now. It does. And like you said, those things, um, you know, we have a tendency of taking for granted. It, it opened Take our it. eyes. And yes. it, it pushed us to another level because I know like me with the magazine, I was so used to mailing the hard copies out and then God changed the thing where it became digital and audio books. So he birthed a lot of great things mm -hmm. within the pandemic that took place last year. And I'm pretty sure it was the same for you as well as your music. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it also think outside the box. Yeah. It allowed think outside the box and think of new ways that we can 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 maneuver. Yeah. And so um, um I think that was a good piece because people start using the social media more. They start, you know, being able to collaborate in different ways. And so yeah. Um, so it was I think it was a good piece as well. It was, it certainly was. Now um anybody else that you want to send a shout out to at this time, you can go ahead and send a shout out to them. Anybody. I'm like, husband for his support you know sometimes you know i'm the talker so he's kind of like the the quiet person and the observer you know yes. and so i want to thank him for for um you know a lot of times you know he's saying well, well where's all of this energy come from how do you get all of this done but my husband is kind of like the wings beneath my wing the That's wind right. beneath my wings and so you know um <laughs> he's that behind the scene person yes. the unknown hero and so that's Jerome. And so um, he's very supportive. My children, uh, Alice Coons, um, Laquana, yeah. Shayla, Angelica, Nicole, all of them are so supportive. Misha is supportive. My niece, they um, they are so supportive. My mom, yeah. make sure my wardrobe is intact, you know. <laughs> so that outfit that went viral. Yes. Um, that's um, Taylor made. Oh, um, wow. That my mom what a blessing wow. um, the one that uh make sure well how you like this wow. and so the new video that coming up with lord i want to thank you that outfit comes from my mom so shout out to my mother oh my shout, shout out uh, we need to be putting these clothes out and have mama have a makeup a line of hers because she does impeccable yeah. work That's Tell her. <laughs> okay wow and so my my makeup artist, um, Courtney Black and DeMarlo out of Atlanta. I want to give a shout out to him yeah. as well. So we and we're in under construction with my backup singers and my um musicians. Yeah. I want to say that I did uh, last year I lost my music director, oh. uh Rob L. That was if God don't do it, it won't get done. Oh. He was uh, we were very close. We had so many goals that we had sit down, meetings after meetings, talking about the um, so how we wanted that to unfold. Oh, and Lord. so he left us last year. Oh. So um, that that piece, I want to give a shout out to someone that I really love, mm. um, my music director. Rock. Yeah. And so, yeah, I, yeah, we do have another produced piece. Uh, we did a country a country and rest in peace with um, uh, Minister pa um, Pleasant. Oh. Pleasant. And so that's on my platform as well. Okay. So it's um, the title of his song is um, She's Got the Magic Touch. Oh. And so it, that piece for him, I produced it and managed it, and it's out on all the social media. Oh. So um, I thank God for that. What a blessing. I tell you, I tell you, I couldn't have spent time with such a, a more incredible woman. I, like I said, I just, I thank God for you. And I know you go on far. Um, it, God is just beginning as they say, taste and see that the Lord is good. This is just a taste yes. of what he has in store for you. So I can't yes. wait for us to come back together. I just want you to give your, your email address one more time and your phone number as we um, wrap everything up. Just one more time for the audience, please. Yes, the best uh, address for me is uh, Dr. Barbara Reddick at gmail.com. Again, Dr. Barbara Reddick at gmail.com, the best number at my office here. We do have an office located here in Leon County. It's 850-201-7107, Reddick's production. Outstanding. So it's been a joy and pleasure. I look forward to getting back with you again. Once again, um, this is Reverend 
Dr. Barbara Thomas Reddick. She is going to be on the issue of Triumphant Magazine, November 2021. And we just want to say thank you for joining us today. We hope you have thank enjoyed you. this broadcast and many blessings yeah. to you, woman of God. And we look forward to talking to you soon. God bless you. And thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you.